Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. A man in Washington County shoots the prize deer of a lifetime. News 5's Emily DeVoe explains why the piebald is considered the jackpot for hunters. Take a look at this buck. Joshua Williams couldn't believe it when a rare piebald deer stepped out of the woods Saturday morning. Yes, I thought it was a ghost first. He talked to us through a video chat from Calvert, Alabama. Then I just watched it and watched it. It got like 75 yards on me. I got a good shot in the right front shoulder. It dropped on the spot. This YouTube video shows a rare herd of piebalds in Wisconsin. Their brown and white spots are actually a genetic mutation that's only in about 2% of the entire deer population. It's in the body and in the face. According um, to Daryl Bell, the president of the local Quality Deer Management Association. And finding one as large as this one is even more unusual. That's very rare, just simply because when people do see a piebald deer, it's, it is so rare that they want to shoot it as quick as they can so that they have proof that they saw it or that they can have it skinned in, in a rug made out of it or, 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 you know, to have proof pretty much so they shoot them before they, before they have a chance to get to that size. So what do you do with a deer like this? A lot of people offer me good money for the deer, but I'm thinking of keeping it for myself. William says he's ordering a full body mount to put it up on display in his kitchen. In Calvert, Emily DeVoe, News 5. Yes, he's proud of that one. Remember, if you shoot a deer in Alabama, state law says you have to report it.